good morning students today we will start with chapter 7 getting to know plants topic we are going to see is structure of a flower flowers play a vital crucial role in the life cycle of a plant what is a flower you would have seen a lot of flowers in different shapes different colors let's see how will you define a flower flower is a reproductive organ of a flowering part so what are flowering plants flowering plants are a type of plants that produce flowers in order to reproduce flowering plants produce seeds within a fruit seeds are like a baby plants every organisms needs to reproduce to retain their species if reproduction does not happen the entire species will lost so if we want reproduction to takes place there has to be some reproductive organs that reproductive organ in a plant is a flower flower is nothing but a modified shoot which get modified to form reproductive organ flower in this slide you can see two different color flowers the parts which are labeled in red color flower are called plant supporting structures as the petals and sepals protect and support the plant sepals protect the flower bud before it opens and support it after it blooms petals are larger and more colorful and attract pollinators next the stalk like structure which hold the flower is called pedicel now look at the next pink color flower the parts which you can see in pink color flower are called plant reproductive structures plant sexual reproduction relies on stamens which are the male reproductive organ and pistils which are the female reproductive organ stamens contribute the male genetic material in the form of pollen grains which is produced from anthers that are on the terminal ends of stalk called filaments pistils form ovaries at their bases and stigmas which are sticky pollen receptors on the terminal side of stalks called style inside the ovaries ovules are tiny bead like structure that contain female genetic material when fertilized ovules form seeds that perpetuate to form second generation flowers let us quickly look at each part and its functions pedicel holds the flower petals colored part and attract insects insects help in the process of pollination and reproduction sepals ensure protection of the petals stamen the main function of stamen is uh, to produce pollen grains pistil the main function of pistil is to stick out beyond the stamens so that insects can e- easily brush up against the pistil this helps transfer pollen grains and fertilize the seeds in the ovaries next we'll see structure of stamen now let us look at the structure of stamens and pistil in little more detail let's start with stamen male reproductive part of the flower the first part of stamen is filament a long thin structure that supports an anther next anther bilobed swollen structure at the tip of the filament bilobed means two lobes or two compartments within their structures so when you look at the structure more closely at the cross section of the anther it has four sacs and each of the sacs contain pollen grains next see structure of pistil female reproductive part of the flower when you look at the structure of pistil it has a prominently three different parts they are ovary style and stigma stigma which are sticky pollen receptors next style is a tube like structure that connect ovary and stigma third part ovary 
basal enclosed part of pistil ovary enclosed ovule ovule or bead like structure the then the other interesting thing is ovule cannot move which is present inside the ovary so pollen grains need to come inside the ovary so stigma is the place receives the pollen grains move through the stail and reaches the ovary that's how the process of reproduction takes place in a flower that is why flower is called a reproductive part of a plant next we'll see the different types of flowers the different types of flower which we see vary very much from each other some flowers are yellow some are red colors some have five petals some have ten petals even the arrangement of sepals some are jointed and some are separated also the arrangement of petals in some flowers are one after the other or one overlapping the other or jointed together so after viewing all this we finally come to the conclusion that you all agree that the structure of the flower is not always the same it may different in different types next before we conclude the chapter for the students better understanding of table 7.3 of page 61 in ncert textbook and also to answer the questions given in page 62 of observation on plant flowers so we will discuss few more important terms with examples related to table 7.3 the first important term is about the complete flower a typical flower consists of four types of floral leaves called sepals petals stamens and carpels a flower in which all the four whorls are called complete flower examples of complete flowers are hibiscus rose lily lemon tree and limes next is incomplete flowers an incomplete flower is defined as a flower missing any of its parts in its natural form that is sepals petals sepals stamens or pistils examples are cactus flower and papaya flower next is jointed sepals if the sepals of a flower jointed then the pistil is jointed to the petal flowers with jointed sepals are hibiscus datura cotton and tomato flowers last slide is the separated sepals the sepals are usually separate flowers with separated sepals are rose lily lotus and mustard flowers with this we come to the end of this topic but before we complete the chapter let we practice the how to draw the structure of flower thank you students